Hi, my name is Adrian. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you're not new here, thanks for clicking on another video. On this channel, we're talking all things self-love, mindset, healing, wellness, and how to incorporate that into your daily life. So let's get into today's video. This one I'm really excited to talk to you about because this is something that truly changed the course of my life. Today's video is going to be a sit down video and so grab yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a glass of wine, whatever it is that you fancy. <laughs> I literally never say that, I don't know why I said that. And join me and let's have a little chat. So you feel stuck, right? That's why you clicked on today's video, I am assuming, and I've been there, I get it. And sometimes one of the hardest places to be in in life is to feel really stuck, to feel unhappy, and to just not know a way out. And so we're gonna talk about today what I think is the first and most crucial step in creating a life you actually love for yourself. So I'm not gonna gatekeep, let's just get into that first and most crucial step. And here it is, are you ready? <laughs> it is simply just admitting to yourself and being radically honest with yourself about what you actually want out of life. I'm gonna pause there and take a sip of coffee. And I can hear it now, because I've heard this all the time, is, but Adrian, I just don't know what I want out of life. It's either that, or you do know what you want deep down, you're just really afraid to admit it to yourself. And we'll kind of talk about that later. But what I wanna say first and foremost, and I have to say this before we continue on with this video, is that you are so much more powerful than you know that you are. And you have the every capability to be, do, or have anything that you desire in this lifetime. And those desires are specific to you. They were placed on your heart for a reason. And it's so important that you know that everybody has different things that they want of life. Everybody is in different situations and they want different things. And so those individual desires are meant for you. You are meant for them and they are meant for you. And you are so much more powerful than you know. You can create a life that you actually love for yourself. You just have to believe that you can do it. So. I digress, but that is something that you have to believe and know going forward as we talk about these kinds of things. So like I already said, but it's important that you understand there are two main reasons I see people feeling stuck in life and wanting more but not really knowing what they want. One is that they truly don't know what they want because they have not even dared to let themselves dream or think about it. And number two is that they have an inkling, they have kind of a deeper knowing of what they want, and it feels really scary to think about, so they don't even let themselves go there. And while these are the two overarching ideas of why you don't know what you want in life, why you might not know what you want in life, the deeper underlying reason is just one, and it's fear. Fear to admit what you want, fear to even let yourself dream, and that can be for a couple of different reasons. One could be that society or the people around you, your family, your loved ones, you know that if you really opened up and told them what you wanted out of life, they might not believe in you, they might judge you. And so it's just, it's a lot of times the, when those of us who are dreaming bigger, we want different things in our lives, we are going against the grain. And so that can be really uncomfortable and scary. So that's one reason that we can fear it. Number two is that it could, and you realize deep down, require a big life change. So this could look like, you know, deep down, you know that you want a different career, you want a different relationship, you want different friendships, the ones that you have now, career, relationships, friendships, aren't serving you. That's a really scary thing to have to admit to yourself, because then what, right? Then you know that you have to change those things, and that is, one of the scariest things. And so that's another reason that we might not admit to ourselves what we actually want because we're scared to face that. And then the third reason is that we just generally doubt ourselves. We doubt and we don't believe in ourselves that we can actually have what we want. So why even think about it, right? So those are kind of the three main reasons I see that we fear admitting what we actually want in life. But again, it all boils down to fear. And it's not that you don't actually know what you want you're just afraid to admit it to yourself or you're afraid to even let yourself dream. And so I can do a whole nother video on kind of breaking down those fears if you'd like. Just comment below if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. But I really wanna get back to the main topic of this video which is the first and most crucial step to creating the life that you want for yourself. 
which is admitting what you want. Okay, so we've figured out why maybe you don't admit to yourself what you want, so then what, right? So I have an exercise for you, and I think this can be really helpful. A lot of times, if we don't know what we want out of life, but we feel stuck, what we can actually look at is what we don't want out of life because sometimes that can be a little bit easier to think about and then what you do and this is the exercise that i want you guys to try is if you know what you don't want you may have heard the saying before you know what you do want you just you look at the opposite so some examples of this are i just know that i don't want to work a nine to five the rest of my life so what do you want you want more flexibility, you want more freedom, what do you want? Go from there. Or another example could be, I don't want XYZ job, right? I don't want this kind of job, I don't want a desk job, I don't wanna work in medicine, I don't wanna teach, I don't wanna be a lawyer, I don't, whatever it is. And so you kind of already know, okay, well then like, what do I do want? Do I want something more creative? Do I want something where I get to talk to people more if you don't talk to a lot, talk to people in your job? But you can start to kind of chip away at, okay, I really strongly know what I don't want, so what do I want? What is this showing me? And then one last example could be like, you know, I know that I don't wanna live in this place. I know I don't wanna live in this town, maybe start to look at why why don't i want to why don't i want this kind of job and you know if that doesn't give you the exact answer of what you do want it can give you clues and that's really important too so the town example i don't want to live in this town why because it's not near a city there's not it's not near water there's not you know it could be all these different reasons but then at least you know okay this town is not near water what do i want i want to live in a town that is near water you've gotten more clear on the things you want. And this isn't something that if you've been battling with it for a long time that it might change overnight and all of a sudden you know exactly what you want. But it can be helpful. Like I said, you can build clues and start to figure out and this is going to be the first step in feeling less stuck because then you've got a vision. And what can you do with that vision? You can start moving towards it. I, and I think the other really important thing to remember, and this is just a side note, is we evolve, right? Like, And I've said this in my other videos, and I'm so passionate about this is that I think society, the way that it's set up makes us believe that once we are in something, a career, a relationship, you know, once we've developed these hobbies that we like or whatever it is that we have to be that for the rest of our lives or we have to be interested in that in the, for the rest of our lives, it gives us no space to evolve but it is natural, it is our human tendency to evolve, to change our minds, to gather new information and realize maybe we wanna pivot or maybe we like this better or that better. And, and so I think it's so crucial that when you are thinking about wanting to create a life that you love for yourself, and I, I battled with this myself, is like what you want right now is what we're talking about. We're not talking about what you might want in 50 years, 20 years, 10 years. We're talking about right now, what would make you the happiest? What would make you the most fulfilled in life? And just start there, okay? So this is it. That's the first, I think, and most crucial step in creating a life you want. You have to know what you want. <laughs> you have to know what you want, and then all the other work comes in. And, and it's work. It's not like all of a sudden you know what you want, and then boom, you've created it, and you can create it really quickly, and there you go. No, but it is so necessary that if you want to live a happy and fulfilling life, a life that you truly love, that you've got to first admit what you want. And by doing that, you're just giving yourself the gift of starting on that journey. You're starting to get yourself unstuck. Momentum will build and things, were, things will start to come in to help you, you know, get more clarity or learn the new skill that you need to learn or whatever it is. But this, I think, is the first and most crucial step. I know it's something that I had to do for myself, and it was scary. For me, I was one of the people that what I thought was deemed acceptable in my family and in the people around me and society, for me to admit what I really wanted in life felt so scary because I felt like I was going against all of that. But once I realized I can't be living my life for other people or I'm always going to be unhappy. Everything really started to change and I was really able to admit to myself what I wanted. And you'd be surprised the people that really love you and are going to be there for you. Once you like start openly sharing what you really want out of life, they will support you and they will love you. And it'll just give you more courage and confidence to keep going with it. So that is it for today's video. 
Tell me what you guys think about this style. I really enjoyed creating this video. Just these topics really excite me. I'm obviously very passionate about them. But yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. I did want to mention that I'm going to be opening my one-on-one -on -one private coaching program on mindset and life coaching here in the next month or so. And if you are interested in that, you can go ahead and email me or just comment down below that you're interested and I will reach out to you with some information. It's going to be starting off at just a two month program where we're gonna have a call each week and then we're gonna have an ability to talk in between calls and I really just wanna get you to the place where you really believe in yourself, where you believe that the life that you want for yourself is possible. We're gonna look at mindset, we're gonna look at you know, loving yourself more. We're gonna look at building your confidence. We're gonna look at, you know, what are the limiting beliefs holding you back and, and so much more. So I'm really excited about that. I wanted to share that with you guys. If you're interested, reach out to me, let me know. But I'm gonna leave that video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.